Hi guys and welcome to another interesting video. We have this nice exponential equation right here for today and we want to figure out the value of x that is going to satisfy it. But x is a real number. Of course, we are looking for real solutions. But before we start, I believe you know the deal already. Pause the video and give it a try first. And as you are trying, a big shout out to this subscriber right here. I really appreciate your comment. If you also like to be shown right here, don't forget to subscribe and also leave a comment in the comment section down below. Without further ado, let's get right into it. The question looks a little bit challenging, but you realize that if you try to use substitution method, it is nothing. What I'll do first is that I would like to see this 100 right here as 10 to the second power, then all to the power x, then again, we have 10 to the power x, and this is still 10. Cool. Now we have a number to a power, then to another power. If that happens, actually, we can multiply these two by this x, but that is not necessary for now. What is important is that if you try to interchange their positions, we are going to get something nice. Check this out. We have 10 to the power x, then all to the power 2, then again plus 10 to the power x, and this is still 10. Now you realize that what is inside the parentheses is the same thing as this one. And if this happens, we can actually use substitution. We are going to let any variable, of course, I'm going for m, to be equal to 10 to the power x. But of course, we have to leave a condition that m must also be greater than 0 because of this condition right here. Of course, this is always a positive number. So m must be greater than 0. And now that we have this, our new equation is going to be m squared plus m and minus 10. That is, if we bring this 10 right here, we are going to have this nice quadratic equation. Of course, there are so many ways that we can solve quadratic equation. The easiest one is using factoring method, but looking at this quadratic equation, I don't think factoring method is going to work. Okay, it's not going to work, so let's use, is it quadratic formula? No, that one is too long. Let's use the method of completing the squares to finish up with this. The first rule is that make sure the coefficient of m squared is just 1. Already it is 1, so we don't have to worry ourselves anymore. So I will just keep them m squared, then plus m. I will leave a huge space, and then this is equal to, let's transpose this negative 10 so that we have positive 10 right here. Why did I leave this huge space right here? We are going to put a magic number that will make the left-hand side of the equation a perfect squared. What is this magic number? Here is the deal. We take the coefficient of m, which is 1 right here. It is 1. I will just have to multiply this 1 here by 1 half and then square the results. And of course, this is basically going to be 1 over 2 or squared. I'm not going to simplify this one for now. I'm going to copy this piece right here. So plus one half squared. And again, I'm going to paste it here as well. One half squared. And clearly on the left-hand side of the equation, this is now a perfect squared, which could also be written as m plus one half or squared. Now, if you try to simplify this or expand this right here, you are still going to be getting the whole of this back that is interesting then the right hand side we have 10 plus this time around let's simplify this one squared is one then two squared is also four of course i would like to keep the left hand side so i'll get this one off really quick and then come to this one on the left we have m plus one half or squared then we are trying to simplify this further i check this we have an integer and then rational number. If this happens, don't worry yourself. You can just fuse them this way. 10 whole number, one over four, and then try to change this one to improper fraction. Four times 10 is 40 plus one. That is basically 41 divided by four. That is that. So I'll just copy and paste this right here. Just like that, this is 41, cool. Now we are looking for m, but we have everything squared. Let's get rid of the square by taking square root on each side of the equation. And of course, plus or minus is really important. Clearly, we can see that this square will cancel out that, and we are left with m plus 1 half, and this is equal to plus or minus. We can also simplify this further. 
square root of the numerator side is still square root of 41 then divided by square root of the denominator which is 4 is nothing but 2 cool and we are trying to figure out what m is so we are going to have m is equal to plus or minus square root of 41 divided by 2 then transposing this positive one half we are going to have negative one half as simple as that and actually we can rewrite the two solutions for m the first one is going to be m is equal to square root of 41 minus 1 or divided by 2 or the second value for m is m is equal to minus square root of 41 minus 1 or divided by 2 but we are not going for this value of m right here simply because at this point right here we said m is greater than zero but the whole of this is less than zero of course because we are looking for real if you keep on with this one we are basically going to get imaginary answers of which we are not interested so this is gone now we are left with m equal to the whole of this so i'll get rid of this one really quick now remember we said m is equal to 10 to the power x now when m is equal to this right here we are going to have 10 to the power x is equal to square root of 41 minus 1 or divided by 2 as simple as that now we are looking for x but x is a power right here you realize that if we take log base 10 on each side of the equation just like this we are good to go of course we can move this x to the front right here so that we are going to have x is equal to the whole of this is just one one times x is still x then the right hand side we are left with log base 10 of square root of 41 minus 1 or divided by 2 and that is the answer for x of course if you try to use a calculator for this you will get x approximately equal to of course i cannot do this in my head unless i use my calculator so quickly we are going to have 0 0.43161 as the value for x which is going to satisfy this equation right here so this is the value this is the equation try to substitute to see whether you'll be getting approximately 10 yes let me use approximately 10 so guys that is pretty much it i hope you found the video useful don't forget to give me a thumbs up check out this video or this one see you again on the next video have a nice day take good care of yourself and bye bye